And welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day for today, Thursday, the 16th of February. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst for Go Markets here, and welcome to your daily meander around the markets. Let's have a look at what's going across the news wise right now. Of course, US markets finished higher overnight, and now NASDAQ is now on a three day winning streak. There's this disparity between the technical picture, which suggests we are moving higher, and the Fed hawkishness, which has been prevalent over the last couple of weeks, particularly. We did see retail sales numbers strong, which possibly helped markets move. And we saw all the major indices close near the highs of the session. U.S. futures are near neutral in early Asian trading and Asian indices are following that U.S. lead. ASX is 0.75% higher and is being boosted to some degree by some lower employment numbers today, which suggests that the RBA may not be quite as aggressive when it next meets. European equity futures are also pointing to a slightly higher open. The VIX is below that key 20 level. The US dollar index is testing the top of the range and is at monthly highs. Gold breached 1860 support to the downside and is trading near year to date lows. Be interesting to see what happens next with that. As I said, there is that disparity there. We rarely get the equity markets and the USD moving up together. And that's just indicative of this slightly unusual picture. Uh, copper also traded lower, but it's holding that $4 key range, trading in a range between about 402 and 408 at the moment. And oil is near neutral overnight within that medium term range, testing $85 on the Brent crude CFD contract. Bitcoin surged again last night, hit six month highs, really strong move and worth keeping an eye on to see if there's any more upside in this in the coming days. Earnings season continues, of course, both on the US side and in Australia, as well as in Europe as well. On the data front, we had Australian inflation expectations slightly lower than expected and those jobs numbers came out, which were weak. That sent the Australian dollar down and the ASX up. Later on this evening, we've got US housing, we've got PPI data, weekly jobs and manufacturing data. So a busy night for the US, lots for the market to process today. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX, one of the outperformers today is Sonic, subsequent to its results. And you can see how well that's been received by the market. Not only did it reverse completely this downwards trend that's been in place uh, throughout February so far, but it also is now at highs not seen since mid-November. Trading towards the highs of the session, we're also nearing the 200 MA. So we're looking for a breach of that and could see this stock up around this $34 level, perhaps in the short term, if this buying pressure continues. The Australian dollar has obviously been one of the key FX movers on the day. And you can see the response there on the short time frame. looking at the 30 minute chart to that Australian jobs data, pushed us down to this pivot at essentially 92. That's gonna be a key level to keep an eye on. It was the lows of the session yesterday. So if we breach that, there could be a potential opportunity to the downside. At this stage, it doesn't look as though there's a lot of follow through, but certainly one worth keeping an eye on. In terms of context, it is worth looking at the daily chart. And you can see there earlier in the week, there was that bounce down of 93. So 92 looks as though it's well on the cards. We could see it even test a 200 MA at around about 91.65. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.